Hello, hello. Good. Technically, it's still morning. It's 11.59 for me anyway. But yeah. We're, yeah, we're just about on time. Just about on time. And uh, yeah, my camera is very over in one direction. That's... Uh, Is that? No, that's the wrong way. What's that? There we go. Don't know why it's over so in one direction. But yes, we are, we are back on the hardcore world today. I've been really uh, really enjoying hardcore at the minute. Um, Yeah, really, really enjoying it. So, we're going to play a little bit more. I've got a... I was about to say I've got a couple of things to get done, but I can't remember the second thing that I wanted to do. <laughs> Um, I remember one of the things, uh, which was sort out a bit of stuff at the perimeter. But, uh, yeah, can't remember. Can't remember the other thing that I wanted to get done. But yes, um, so we fin yeah, we finished off last stream doing this with a bit of, pro bit of ore processing. So I want to double check that I have cleared all of that out. I mean, I don't think this is from last episode. This is all just left in here from random stuff, I think. But yeah, we got we got quite a bit of, quite a few ores. I mean, that tends to happen when you spend a good couple hours mining for redstone. But, uh, fine, it's fine. We've got a lot of gold. Oh yeah, that's the other thing. Let's try and uh, trade for some soul speed. As we... As much as I hate it, we are not immediately, but we are reasonably soon going to need to go to a fortress across the nether. I am not going to go to any of the soul sand fortresses because they are just that deadly. Um, I'm aware I've just gone through here just randomly. And then... Also, I need more food. Um, hmm. My music seems quite loud this, uh, today. Any emeralds at all? I do not. I'm going to grab some paper. We've got a little bit of paper, go trade that for some emeralds, trade that for some food. And uh, go from there. Make some paper. Pickaxe durability. We've got a good amount of pickaxe durability, which should be fine. Yuki. Hey, friend. Cool, stack and a half bread, that'll do us quite nicely. Uh, right, let's make our way over to the monolith site. 
Well, I guess it's probably really going to be more of an obelisk than a monolith. Yeah. Work my way over here, and yeah, we'll get working on the walls, because that is sort of really what I want to be mining out today, and then we can get the border in. Well, I say the border, like the, the extra bit that I discussed last stream. It's kind of hard to describe it. I'll, um, well, I guess, I guess you'll see <laughs> um, what the plan is. Uh, if you weren't in the past couple of streams where I was debating whether I'll do it or not, and I've decided I will do it. Basically, basically I've taken notice of it, and it looks a bit awkward. So I kind of have to do it now. But it's fine, it's fine. Um, it shouldn't be too much work. Plus, it will give the opportunity to fill more lava in. So, always gotta love that. Looking up the lava, how are we doing? Hey, we're doing quite well. We're almost at the little divot, um, which should fill in. But yeah. So, we're gonna get to work on this. I'm gonna start by getting rid of all of this uh, scorched earth from the outside. Um, Actually, I might just keep that one in there. Yeah, and we're not going to use the mining machine for this because there's not much point in doing it. Um... It's perfectly fine to do it by hand. And, uh, I don't know where that's come from, but may need to fix a little bit of that. Yeah, there might be a little bit of terraforming to do around here, like on those little cavey bits there. Um, it should be fine. Bit of terracotta, bit of red sand. Oh yeah, and these <laughs> these sections where the uh, mining machine was sent off. Sounds like this when I would uh, when I miss a haste beacon, but I'm not <laughs> I'm not going skull hunting just yet. Honestly, I don't know if I will do like a proper skull hunt. I wonder whether I'll just go straight to uh, make another mob switch, and then oh, and then we'll make a wither skeleton farm. Genuinely, that might just end up being the way I do it. Because it is it is hardcore. I'm not I'm not risking it. Unless I find a, a decent enough fortress that's, you know not dangerous but still spawns with the skeletons like a forest fortress is probably not a bad shout. Crimson Forest Fortress is probably going to be a bit, bit bad on the spawns. I mean, we do have looting three on here. We do have a shot. Um, a smite four looting three sword as well. I think. 
It's like Smite 4 looting 3 sweeping H3, isn't it? And the great news is we can basically reuse most, well, all of this Scorchia plus a little bit more because there are some bits where it's missing to uh, do the extra layer around here. Scorch you around the edge. It is. So I think rather than like go around and go layer by layer, I think we're just gonna work on each side and just sort of I don't know, work across like this. See how far we get. Obviously, when we get to the tall bit here, we'll have to uh, trim that down slightly. So yeah, like this, this one we will go like. Also, it is a uh, it is sleepy time, isn't it? And nope, I do not have a bed on me. to the rest of this as well. I had a conduit that I could I think I could technically instamine terracotta. Terracotta you only need haste one to instamine. But that would require me getting uh Nautilus shells. is not exactly quick.
I should have used the drills. I probably could I probably could have like gotten the drills just all in one long line and gone down. But yeah, it's fine. Spend a little bit of time just relaxing, do a bit of mining, let that fill with lava. Which really is the name of the game with doing stuff around here now. It's just trying to find ways to kill time. But still uh Fill our infinite lava source up. Because once that's done, then we can really start cracking on with factories and things. And I mean, I guess I guess we can still build them up. It's just we won't be able to turn them on. Um, the main thing I want to get built up first is the actual fuel source. And like, what's the word? The fuel generator. Hey, Bruno. Wait. Uh, Pin Pinto. Thank you for the follow. Uh, I'm probably not pronouncing that correctly. <laughs> so <laughs> my my apologies. But uh, yeah, welcome in. Thank you for the follow. We are playing a little bit of modded hardcore today. Because I've been really feeling that. And uh, yeah, it's going good. And hopefully it's not too long before we can start doing a lot of automating and stuff. be very exciting. Oh dear, that's close. Yeah, just a little bit of a uh, grindy mining to start off stream today. And uh, then I think we're probably going to try and get some soul speed. Because uh, our nether spawn is a sizable soul sand valley. And I've, I've navigated a lot of it before and it's it's painful. It really is painful. Just uh, go get this side done, I think. Cells back up here. And keep going. I'm gonna have to mine out another layer of this at some point to do the walls, aren't I? That can be a problem for future chemists. Not on repeat. 
I always forget to change that setting when I start stream because if I've been listening to music beforehand, I usually won't stick it on repeat because if I, if I end up selecting like single releases, it just repeats the same song. Uh, yeah, it's always a case of let, let's hope I don't get copyright struck. And yeah, quickly change the music. It should it shouldn't be the case because like generally, uh, like this sort of music lo is at, at the worst it's copyrighted, but they allow it in like videos and stuff. Not too bad. Yeah, I am. I am absolutely terrible at remembering to uh, reset my reset my Spotify settings for stream. I was saying I had plenty of uh, big S durability, but it's gone down fairly quickly. May need to repair it because we've got all of that to mine out as well, which is going to take a while. And the other side as well. So, uh, we shall see. Alright, that's two out of three sides, or two out of four sides done, sorry. I, I, I can definitely you know, count. Yeah, this is doing... Oh, it's gotten a bit closer. If we'll see any uh, fall in. Just say lava hisses. Hmm. Weird. Anyway, let's carry on. This is... take a little bit of time. Start patching some of these uh, bits up as well. Just 
cover up Terracosa basically. Right, how do we want to do this? Because um, I think if we get most of this like big top layer of terracotta off first, probably gonna be is it enough? Don't know why there's a random hole there. Possibly for an infinite water source, that's usually what happens. Uh, they usually just end up making infinite sources in random places, but... Fine. One, one farm we are going to want actually getting set up quite early is uh, blaze cake bases. Uh... Right. Okay. The actual thing. Yeah, blaze cake base. Why is it not turning up there? Anyway. Where's that? Yeah, eggs, sugar, and cinder flour. Cinder flour is made from netherrack, which is pretty easy to get. Eggs, I think we've got a few that we can make. We'll try and get some chickens. Like, the more, or the faster we can get lots of chickens in a place, the better. I just need to know exactly where I'm going to make it. Um, and then sugar, we have a big sugar cane farm. We can just make another one over here, no, no big deal. It's not exactly difficult to craft into sugar, I don't think. Uh, you can either automatic, or you can, oh yeah, you can crush sugar cane into two sugar, can't you? Or mill it. Milling it might actually be better, because it'll take up less space. Wait, hold on, wasn't that say... Yeah, yeah, mill one sugar cane into two sugar. Confusing myself. <laughs> uh, right, you know what? Let's go back and forth along here. There's some lava. I had to guess it's probably some going into the uh, like bottom bit now. I hope anyway. That yeah, the limit with our lava thing is not uh, the actual like rotational speed of the pumps. It's like physically how many uh, 
like cauldrons do we have? Um, I mean, we've got how many have we got there? Sixty, about sixty, I think. There's, there's a good enough number there, and obviously as we slowly work away here, it'll slowly fill up. And yeah, I, I could AFK it, but part of me is kind of terrified to AFK in hardcore. <laughs> Even though this whole thing is now spawn proof, by the way, because of the uh, lights. Um, but... And despite the fact that, you know, it's pretty easy to make yourself safe to AFK and hard just AFK in general. Also, I kind of want to try AFK just as little as possible in this world. We can kill a good amount of time as well by building a spider farm. There is an exposed cave spider spawner somewhere around here and we will need uh, fermented spider eyes. To make, uh, excuse me, excuse me, that is, no, uh, sorry, we can use fermented spider eyes to make Come on. Do you mind? Look, come over this way. Thank you. But yeah, we uh we have an exposed cave spider spawner just over there. You can see all the cobwebs, and we can get the spider eyes from that to make uh fermented spider eyes to make potions, and then you can actually use those potions to make things like gunpowder, redstone, stuff like that. Very useful stuff. Problem with using that, or the problem with that method to get redstone though is you need a potion of strength, which is of course made using blaze powder. So you'd need a blaze farm, which is not, not easy. No. Particularly with, I'm pretty sure they patched out being able to like simply use minecart contraptions to pick up spawners. I can't remember the new way of doing it. I think it has to be something with trains, I want to say. Oh, excuse me. some sleep. I've just realized what the lava heating is. It's my uh, scoria, scoria generator over there. Probably needs to be turned off. As we, I imagine we have quite a lot now. Yeah, let's turn that off. We 
can do like that on there. Fine. Um, yeah. Look at that. It's filling. It is filling. And it's going well. And if I've done the maths correctly, it should make everything come up to this layer for an infinite source. And then we can just be, uh, yeah, pulling lava out of here. With, uh, yeah, no problem. Our durability looking 336 comes by around about four because of unbreaking three. Got about 1200 durability left. Isn't terrible. We might be able to get all of this done because there's actually really only like half of a side over there that needs to be taken out. Uh, I'll wait and see. I guess two though, obviously we'll go, go back and repair it. Amazing parkour skills on mine. Uh, let's just get this whole side down. Yeah. And back the other way. Yeah, I don't think our uh, pickaxe is going to last all of this. So we can get as much uh, durability out of this as possible. I mean, it's not as if I'm short of diamonds to, <laughs> to uh, make spare ones. Either somewhere in there.
we've got two layers left. There's a lot of spiders I'm hearing. Is there like a spider spawner or something? Gotta be like a spawner or something around here, surely. There's definitely a spider spawner somewhere around here. is it? Because if there is a spider spawn in, like in here That's going to be much closer to get spider eyes. Is it up? It can't be that much more up from here, can it? Dripping. Forgot I had that on. My music down a second. Here we go. I knew it. Yeah, 
I knew there had to be a spider spawn around there somewhere. There's no way there's like that many spider noises. Ow. That was a terrible shot. Right, let's, uh... A light down there, block that up. Okay. Anything exciting in here? Some more bread, always helpful. Nothing crazy exciting. No gapples or notch apples. However, this is very useful to have here because we are. Now I will use free cam because we've already found it. Yeah, we are. Oh wow, this is like directly underneath the uh, floor here. That's actually really, really good. Whoops, did not mean to. Let me press that. Well, we have a source of spider eyes now, so that's good. So uh, yeah, we'll make a make a little farm down there. Uh, the uh, spider eyes have to be a player kill, don't they? I remember that from accident or from trying to set up a spider eye filter for my uh, mob farm on my single player, and then discovering that it just never filled up uh, because the spider eyes had to be a player kill. Uh, but I think we can simulate a player kill. Yes, I know. Um, we can simulate a player kill with a deployer and a sword. So uh, that's not a problem. We we'll actually we'll actually need bane of arthropods. For once, I genuinely don't think I've ever said those words in my life. <laughs> we, we need Bane of Arthropods. No, or at least Bane of Arthropods would be a rather large help. But, uh, yeah. Uh, how much do I... 117. What do you think? Can the durability last us all the way along here? I think it can. We're at 98. It might be tight. It might be tight. Also, it's like down under here, isn't it? Pop a torch just there so we know where our spider spawner is. I also don't think I've ever wanted to find a like normal spider spawner before. <laughs> You always want either, well, ideally you want skeleton spawner, of course. Because uh, you can get bones, enchanted bows, arrows, good things like that. 
Zombie spawners also fine. Generally, they want spider spawners because they, they're a bit of a pain to make an XP a farm out of. Obviously, we won't use this for XP because. Uh, we really just want it for the spider eyes. Now. Yeah, right, let's uh, chuck all of those. Loaded this in a chest. Probably not that chest. Yeah, that'll do. And go repair our pick. it back up a bit as well now that we're not looking for the spawner. Wait to get Electra. It's gonna make this so much easier. I mean, to be fair, it's my own fault for uh, deciding to build so far away. But uh, it just it works. Yeah. Also, I, I haven't built in a Badlands in a long time. Uh, these are all, like, good. Okay, those two are going to be combined. Actually, I'm curious. What would be cheaper, combining these two or just combining a brand new pickaxe? Let's have a look. So that and that costs five, and I'm guessing that's going to be, yeah. Four, that and that also costs five. Oh, we might as well do that. Keep these for now. Plus we have like a stack and a half of XP blocks anyway, so levels aren't exactly going to be a problem. However, I do want to use, I probably will use those levels on getting a good potato cannon. Which I discovered yesterday. Because I just, I just went into a little bit of creative and create more just to have a little look around and play around with some of the features that I don't recognise. Um... Potato cannon being one of them, obviously I've known it exists and vaguely how it works, but I wanted to have a little look more about it, see the enchants. It's basically bow enchants. You can put things like power 5 on them, uh, you can't put infinity on it, but there is a thing called potato recovery. Um, and basically it just shoots vegetables, it's amazing. But, power 5 potato cannon with... Uh, um, golden carrots does more damage 
than a power five bow, funnily enough. Um, also blaze cakes as well. You can uh, shoot blaze cakes. Um, you can also put punch on it, which is very funny because vegetables like pumpkins and melons have a knockback effect themselves. So you combine pumpkins with punch and you can just send mobs absolutely flying. <laughs> But yeah, the, by far the funniest vegetable to use with a potato cannon is chorus fruit. <laughs> because if you shoot a mob with chorus fruit, okay, it does a little bit of damage, not loads, but it also just teleports them around. It's hilarious. I'll, uh, maybe once I've gotten this out, we'll, we'll go in creative and have a little look at it. It is absolutely hilarious. And the, the chorus fruit one actually, it's possibly not a terrible idea to use on the warden. Now obviously I'm not going to be fighting the warden anytime soon. But uh, it is... As long as you stay out of range of the sonic boom attack. It should be alright. Yeah, I, I probably am not going to try and kill a water on this wall. Have to be real here. It's hardcore. I'm terrible at combat against either players or entities. You saw me try and shoot a spider from point blank range. I'm not good. <laughs> oh wait, but uh. No, maybe if I get paid enough, I'll give it a go. But it is a funny thought to fight a warden by just simply teleporting it all over the place. There you go, there's the spider. Oh, you can actually see the spawner from here. Torch on top. Yeah, we don't need that now because we can literally just import spiders or spider eyes directly into the um, factory floor. Change that back. Wondering about that. Uh, how's this doing? <gasps> oh, well, that's actually doing really well. The little middle bit's almost filled up. That was a mistake. <laughs> Whoops. Okay, that shouldn't convert. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, we're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna have to make sure we don't fall into that. Particularly once that is full. Yep, yeah, then, then bad things will happen. Whoops. Whoopsies. Let's, uh... 
I'm gonna need like a railing there, aren't I? Uh... That's why we have at least one piece of fire protection armor. It's exciting though that that is filling up at a decent rate. Yeah, I think the, the majority of time that's going to be spent waiting for that to fill up is probably going to be in actually you know, designing the uh, fuel, oh, fuel generators. They're not really fuel generators, are they? Um. Steam generators, that's it. Water tanks. We're gonna need to like fill the water tanks with water. Get infinite water sources to keep doing that. Which I'm not gonna be doing until that thing is covered. Okay. Actually to be fair, why why haven't I covered it yet, actually? I probably should just flat out cover it with glass. Because <laughs> I have no need for it to not be covered anymore. Um yeah, we'll do that today as well. Prevent any more of incidents. And uh yeah, incidents are bad. And, uh, yeah. We're also going to need to figure out how to make blaze cakes, because we are... We are going to be making blaze cakes. That's the only sort of way around it. Well, the only way I want to do it, really. I mean, I, c I could use things like charcoal. But... I'm gonna be I'm gonna be char using charcoal for black dye anyway. Uh, I don't want to make loads of charcoal farms, and bla I mean blaze cakes farms aren't terrible to make. It's just need to make the blaze cake bases, uh, and then well okay that's that's literally it. We need to make blaze cake bases, then pump the lava into said blaze cake base, and then fuel the blaze burners. Like, so our steam generators are going to have three stages in them. Like that. Bye. That have, because the way we're going to set this out is we're going to have a generator on the corner. And then... Yeah, I guess each chunk will be a stage of the process. We'll have the generator. The, I guess if we do it left or right, so say we take these chunks here, we have the generator. The. Well, okay, start from here. We'll have blade kick base manufacturing. 
Which will probably be more a chunk and a half because then all we have to do is just fill it up with lava and then deliver the blaze cakes to the fuel generator and then that will distribute rotational power to probably these chunks and then we have a similar thing here blaze cake base manufacturing fill with lava fuel generator those chunks something along those lines and yeah we're gonna have a lot of rotational power <laughs> a lot of rotational power Okay, I think we're done. Possibly a couple of corners that we need to uh, do something with, like maybe over here? I can't remember. Go and have a quick look. Yeah. I forgot. This is adding to the floor, not not the walls. <laughs> We're doing here. It's fine. Uh, actually, let's. Uh, we've got a lot of orange terracotta on us. Do just want to do a little bit like that. up the walls a little bit. Oh, that's the wrong block. This is actually part of a mine shaft here. This is just like, yeah, there's just rails here, but we're gonna terraform in a little bit. to do this on all the sides as well. Uh, really like that, I think. Yeah. And then there's possibly one more. No. Okay. Right, I'm going to take a quick break. And uh, yeah, I will be back in a few minutes.
Alright, we're back. Little break over. Um, let me take that out quickly. And we'll... Yeah, we'll do that as well. Uh, okay, right. Let's get the Scorchia in. Hmm. Hi. Nope. I'm just looking at my camera and it seems a little cold on the temperature scale. It's possible that I've just not set my camera up right. <laughs> uh, have a fill around with that after stream. I got some new lights. So uh, hopefully my face shouldn't keep changing colour depending on what's on my screen. Um, that might be a little bit of change, but hopefully it should be to a lesser extent. Uh, also, we need to sleep. And, uh, yeah, I might need to change the uh, temperature. I can't remember what the actual setting is called. Are we, are we filled? It's filled up now. Look at it. We've got the mini layer done. It'll be very exciting once this first, like, full layer is done. Uh, right. Scorchia. Scorchia of the layered variety. There's my stone cutter. There it is. I love this feature of create where you can just keep like changing things. It's so nice. You don't end up with like just like random like the odd random block of a certain like brick type or whatever. That you're then just like not gonna use again for ages. Then around this is going to be the wall, which is going to go probably reasonably close to build height, in my mind at least. Which, okay, let's say we'll, we'll do it up to Y300. We're on 64 at the minute. That's going to be about 240 blocks up. I do also have a gradient plan for it, which is five, seven blocks gradient going all the way from this color to like white calcite because it's so scorchier deep slate uh, but yeah so scorchier deep slate like tiles and bricks then like cut the create cut deep slate stuff then Tough limestone diorite and calcite. I think yes, yeah, seven seven different stone types. So there's a gap there that I've not 
Not filled in. Uh, that's I'm going in completely the wrong direction. Orange terracotta, red sand. All oh, right, that's not, that's not even that it's not been filled to the top. It's just the divot that's not been filled in. Weird. But yeah, rather than uh, like rather than get rid of all of this terrain around here to make the ground nice and flat, uh, I'm gonna like keep it here and it's sort of gonna like nestle itself into the surroundings. Realize this is probably a faster way of doing this. until that happens. Perfect. Wow, eight leftover Scorchia. Nice. Get some of our sandpaper up there. I'm also going to want to make a load of precision mechanisms as well. I just realised. Uh, we're just going to want to get a load of glass. Do that in a second. What colour glass do we want to use? Like. Do we want to just use regular glass? Do we want like white stained glass? Black stained glass? Tinted glass? Not tinted glass, I can't be bothered to get that much amethyst. Um, but yeah, I, I kind of think regular glass is probably going to look the best. I'm going to be able to see the lava below much better. Uh, get my trusty calculator out. So 30 times 30 is of course 900, you divide that by 64, that is going to be 14 stacks and 4. It's a lot of glass. I feel like that's probably going to end up being my catchphrase for a lot of builds because I love building with glass <laughs> and yeah I'm just constantly going to be doing the calculations about how much glass we need and it's just, it's just going to always be it's a lot of glass Okay, it is what it is. We have a librarian. We are probably going to get more librarians. Uh, it's annoying because I don't want to do loads of village trading in the world because, you know, we have the create mod. We have loads of ways of diff getting different things. But you can't deny that. Okay, yeah, it's going to be useful for early game. It's going to be useful for glass, particularly. Actually, to be fair. Automating glass isn't necessarily going to be too bad. Oh wait, you can smelt like... I guess that kind of makes sense. Uh, yeah. I mean, yeah, okay, you can smelt sand. That's perfectly fine because you can get renewable sand in this from crushing... Gravel, which you can get from crushing cobblestone. And then smelting. It's just, yeah, it's just smelting is a nightmare for glass. 
Which you can, I guess with the fan and you have the bulk smelting. Which isn't so bad. Like getting 14 stacks of glass. That's going to be... Three and a half stacks of emeralds. And we have one librarian. Hmm. Half a stack of dried kelp blocks, each one does 20 items, that should be more than enough. And I don't actually have a lot of cobblestone. I might have some in the, uh... Oh wait, no, I won't have some there because it all gets spat out, doesn't it? I don't think the gravel does, though. We might have some gravel. Um... I was going to get a load of paper, wasn't I? Get like, I don't know, 12 stacks of paper, something like that. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, nine. Okay, I can't even make that much paper. Second, go trade this. I know. Okay, and we can go get more paper. I probably should have picked up the furnaces and stuff after I sorted all the emeralds out. That's fine. Uh. Anywho. I was gonna look for gravel, that's it. We probably decent amount of gravel in here. Maybe. No, it's just mostly deep so in it. And why I said in it, I never say in it. That's uh, can you like you can't crush cobble deeps like into sand, can you? No, that, that sucks actually. Um, we just get, let's just go mine a load of cobblestone. That out. 
We'll go mine a few stacks of cobblestone real quick that we can just turn into sand and then we'll smelt that whilst we're doing other stuff over at the base, I guess. Everything's fine. Yes. Uh, okay. Yes, here will do. must have been picking up coal and hence was fueling itself. Anyway that's more than enough cobblestone so you can run back up here grab some gravel or we'll turn the cobblestone into gravel and then uh, turn the gravel into sand. Decent supply of bone meal as well, which is nice. Don't, don't jump into the crushing wheels. A terrible idea. Whilst that's happening, let's go trade some more paper for emeralds. Two, and we do actually have another stack, don't we? I can't work out how I can hear guardian shoots from here. <laughs> there aren't any guardians anywhere near me. Uh, yep. Paper obtained. Good trade it for emeralds. And we'll probably be able to get... A stack and a half of glass from trading. Which will be like what, 24 emeralds worth. Hmm. 
don't know, 40 emeralds. We can get like two stacks of glass. This is good. Of course, we have to wait for the dude to refresh his trades. Might not do because I think it's a bit late in the day. Hmm. We just hang around a bit until we can get to sleep. Double check he's not. Yeah. Yeah, we'll hang around until he refreshes, which will be 8 a.m. in the. Oh, that's, yeah, that's quite a way away. No point in hanging around for that long. Uh, rushing wheels. They getting on. Good amount of gravel. Stretch. Uh, I think I should have a bit of. Oh no, I've got four, four glass panes. Okay, actually, what does this look like? From top, let me get my self touch pickaxe as well. And does it change? Do stuff like that. It does not. It doesn't. Mm. There are other things that we could do. Like, for example, can you like Ooh, you can do that. Would you though? That is the question. And I don't think you would. Hardly in the position they are. Pain to place down. But also they have to be placed like that. I don't think they can be placed. Yeah. Does look cool though. Oh damn it. Alright, 
Let's hope that quick away. See how this is getting on. Go ahead and grind the last of this up. Let's go, let's go do the last trade, then we can work out exactly how much sand we want to take. Refresh their trade. There we go. And they might refresh again, but they might not. I don't think they will, so we'll go and buy some more food because why not? Come in. Come in. Thank you. Get more bread. We only actually need like another, uh, uh, yeah, 12 stacks, basically. Seven stacks of space, though. Let's see, 12 times 64 is that divided by 30. Don't know. 20. We're only really going to need. Okay, we do not need that much kelp then. Uh, nearest multiple of nine is probably forty-five. It'll be fine, we'll come back and grab some eventually. We need to, um, actually we need to make a trip back anyway to get stuff to make precision mechanisms. We're going to need to make those to make mechanical arms anyway, which will be used to fuel the blaze burners. I'm 
two four two. Look at that, we're making our way towards day three hundred, which is very exciting. wood as well we've only got 12 logs might be worth to pick up some more logs as well next time we're back Okay, right, let's get these set up. smelting these up. Not going to crouch there. And we'll put the sand in the bottom of the Wait, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, yeah, not quite 14. Oh, hello. Is anything good for me? Not really, no. Imagine having less health than a llama. Uh, anyway. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. I guess I could smell some of this red sand. We've got, yeah, we've got plenty of that that we can smell. Fine. Uh, right. But yeah, precision mechanisms. How do we make those? We need gold sheets. And a lot of that. Need to do it five times. Jeez, I forget how like long-winded this process is. Once we can automate these, then uh, yeah, huge things because we can make rotational speed controllers. We can make mechanical arms. We can make train controls. And uh, that I mean that is it. Uh, wait, no, not this. Wait. Oh, sorry, that's that's crafting. Automated shaped crafting. And then mechanical crafting. What the heck is the difference? Oh, is automated shaped crafting uh, doing it with, like, just using these in an automatic crafting grid, and this is where you have to use these because it doesn't fit in a normal shape craft <laughs> extendo grip. And then the potato cannon. Yeah, we need to... Uh... Yeah, that's going to be one of the things that we're going to want to automate quickly along with like iron, uh, glass probably, obviously the fuel systems. Uh, yeah. We're gonna bring wanna bring a decent amount of andesite alloy over with us. Definitely more logs to make all the cogwheels.
Um, I actually want to make more hoppers as well. Actually, no, we can just like give them a stack of cogwheels and we find hoppers. Hoppers would be necessary. Uh, yeah, hmm. We'll see. We. Is it was. What was it? Iron nuggets. Oh, wait, yes, yeah, iron nuggets. We definitely want to keep as much iron as possible. Um, annoying, I ground all of that. Uh, ground all of that gravel up into sand. Can you, like, wash sand? I feel like sand is something you can probably wash. Oh, yeah, you just wash it into clay. Want it into soul sand, smelt it into that, craft it into concrete powder or TNT. And... Fair enough. Yeah, I know we picked up a little bit of iron ore from uh, when we responded to cobblestone, so there's a little bit extra in there that we can make. Yeah, because it's, it's five it's a five iron nuggets uh, precision mechanism. I mean, we're not going to need loads of these, I don't think. I mean, we may need quite a few for the arms. Cause we're also going to need the andesite alloy. We're going to need a decent amount of brass. I'm actually going to make some more brass as well. Let's just like take a stack of each of those. Uh, andesite, uh, is that really all the andesite alloy we have? Oh wait, no, there's a load over at the, um, at the site. I think there's like a stack over there, isn't there? Uh, right, let's grab the iron ore. It's somewhere in here. There it is. Only eight, but hey, better than nothing. Then crush it. Always partial to a little bit of experience. And if we find our washer, we can chuck it in there. And there we go. Um, I and that alloy. We will need more like hand things we will also need actually if we're going to make brass all of that we're going to need gold that's not where my gold is kept i guess i've got nearly two stacks of gold blocks we might as well take one of them Uh, we're gonna need press, and we're gonna need three deployers, I think. Uh, yeah, three deployers. So that's gonna be Two more brass hands, which is going to be eight more brass sheets.
Peculiar bell. Interesting. Right. Two brass hands. How do we make a deck wire? We need uh, two electron tubes and two andesite casings. Uh, electron tubes need polished rose quartz, don't they? Uh, have and do you have? Now, do I do I have some sandpaper over here again? Yes, I do. Um. Uh. I just want to make an electron ship again. Oh, a couple of iron sheets. Perfect. Uh, I think that's everything we need. Oh, more wood. More wood. Perfect. And I think... That is everything. I know we've got a decent amount of andesite over there as well, just in case we need to make more andesite alloy. We also want to take these with us. Do we have brass funnels over there? I hope we do. That is the wrong portal. Oh dear. Okay, so I want to automate precision mechanisms. Okay, I guess I'm going to set up for that. I hope I do hope we have uh, brass funnels here, because if we don't, that's going to be really annoying. Or even andesite funnels. I guess making brass funnels isn't terrible. You just need bright. Oh, you need dried kelp, which I don't have, and I don't. Uh, 
Is there ocean over there? There might be kelp over there. I genuinely have no clue. Um, let's just check that down for now. I did a little double chest just for all of this stuff. I've got two bits of redstone dust I didn't need. Uh, okay, right. First of all, let's just get a uh, brass making setup. Uh, before we do that, let's find some cog wheels and then we can actually uh, set this up. Uh, I should have some cogwheels somewhere around here. Yep, there we go. Actually, let's just set, we might as well set it up on this end and take it off the, Small cog wheel, doesn't it? Uh, also, that's actually not high enough. We need it there, so that can go there, so the blaze burner can go there, and the faith and go on there. Grab some calcite as well, because apparently that's what I'm using to scaffold around here. <laughs> uh, then we can also... Can you mix, like, a copper and a zinc block? Ah, you can't. Ooh, that's interesting. Why are you not mixing? Are you not going fast enough? Is that the problem? Probably not going fast enough, is it? I mean, it certainly doesn't look like it's going very fast. that's going fast enough now. And... There we go. Lovely. Uh, right, that'll make brass. Then what we need is a conveyor belt for precision mechanisms. 
How do we want to do this? Because what do you need to put in for precision mechanisms? It's gold sheet. Okay, so we need to connect the mechanical press up to this gold sheet. Uh... That's not quite high enough. We'll, we'll connect it up over here. This is this is all temporary, so I don't mind all of this just being all over the place. Um, yes, it's a tad annoying. But, hey, if it works, it works. Right, that's going to be 128. Plus 30 times 64. Plus, uh, whatever. This is, which is also 128. There's 2176. We have five lots of 512. So we've got another just under 400 stress units. Okay, so our precision mechanism thing is going to have to go relatively slowly. Uh, that's fine. Uh, where are we going to add it on? Let's see. Where are my shafts? Uh, there they are. That's actually just going the wrong way, isn't it? Okay, we can probably... A little thing like that. That's now going the correct direction. And if we get some belts, we can hook that down like that. We'll have to move the stone cutter, but that's fine. And yep, and then. Grab lawyers. One, two, three. Uh, what's the order? Little, big, and then nuggets. Where did our andesite alloy go? There it is. Okay. Uh, Okie dokie. See three small cog wheels. Short on the big cog wheels. Um, oh, wait, yeah, because it's. Um, 
Oh, that'll... Right, I guess that'll do. We can go... Get low enough. Small cog wheels. Uh, large cog wheels. And then... I do with my iron. I was a bit more in the alloy there. What did I do with the iron? Oh, there. That we can. Low enough, give us a bat. And then all we need is a bunch of gold sheets. Uh, probably should have done this before building up the whole uh, system there. That's not exactly going to go fast. Uh, right, we need to fuel that again. Get that mixing. And right, any funnels? It does. Ah, yes, brass funnels. Perfect. Uh, so, what I can actually do then is if I make some more chests. Nope, I don't. I don't want a funnel on a crafting table. Uh. Maybe like two more chests? What we can do is do we have any andesite funnels? Because I don't really want to use a brass funnel for that. Because of course there is the 20% chance that it just makes junk. What I really want to do. I need a funnel to take out of the chest onto the conveyor belt. Let's say the chest there. That's gonna well. That's gonna be need to be filtered for precision mechanisms. Which to do that, we're gonna need a precision mechanism. Let's try and make one of those. Hello? Uh, did I... Oh, wait! <laughs> They're not powered! Oh, I cannot believe I just did that. Um, right, let's... Oh my god. Okay, let's try this again. Here we go.
water, we've got more of this glass. Um, I don't want to be painting the glass yet because I want to do that whilst we're making the precision mechanisms. And hopefully this should make a precision mechanism. Oh wait, not yet. Hopefully this can make a precision mechanism. So, if we filter that, then somehow... Power to that. Then... Uh, that, which we might be able to do with the gearbox. Uh, under site casing and cogwheel, we can do that. I am aware that we are limited on the amount of under site alloy we have. Uh, I must be my logs that I, yeah. Uh, uh, so we're actually getting kind of low on wood as well, which is not something I thought we would get low on, but... Here we are. Okay, gearbox. And will this run in the correct direction? No, it won't. What about if we did that? No, damn it. Um... We ran it there, that's going to get that going in the right direction. And then we need... Uh, hmm, it's not going to work. Wait, no, gear shift. Perfect, oh, that worked fine. Because uh, I should have somewhere around here some redstone. Okay. Uh, gear shift. And I then need to power that. And I should have some cobblestone. Perfect. For which we can do that. From there, we can filter that, and it's not a precision mechanism, it will go around back in there. That will mean there will be junk, 
we want to find a filter or a way to filter out the junk. Which actually we can set that filter to be I know because it needs to mm, we need wool to do that. Um do we have wait, do we have any string? No, but I do have a spider spawner. <laughs> so one way of getting string. That was a little more immediate than I was expecting, I'm not going to lie. string that will let us make a filter which we can filter that output to be the incomplete precision mechanisms Uh, I can't remember how to make these. Yeah, there you go, list filter. I think we need to do it as well. Uh, for each one. So then put that in. We also need to power this as well. We should just be able to do with another gearbox, I think. Oh wait, no we won't. So eventually all the junk should just accumulate in there. However, before that we do need another funnel. And this should be a precision mechanism. Why did that? Oh, because it's, yeah, it's, I always do this wrong. Like, like off that, isn't it? Then I always forget you have to do it like that. 
then can't pull straight into the chest. Do I have any more hoppers anywhere? I'm going to have to use five iron on a hopper. I guess not necessarily. We'll just go steal a hopper from over here and make sure we don't accidentally end the song before we put it in. Uh, we'll do that like that for now, it's fine. Oh, yeah, actually. Um, so that should now... End up in there, perfect. Uh, cool. Now we just need to power that. And add a funnel on that as well. Uh, the easiest way might be with another gearbox um, uh, thing. Uh, so make another bunch of small cog wheels, get some more redstone dust. That gear Box. Um, I'm pretty sure that this is going to end up rotating, yeah, the wrong way. So we do that. Uh, oh, more and alloy, thank you. Um, lever. Uh, power that, so that goes like that. Then we need... We don't have any funnels on here, do we? Yeah, we have to make another funnel. Uh... We don't have any quartz around here. Oh, well, and the site file it is, I guess. Uh, and the list filter, we need to add that to, which we can put in there. In theory, we should just be able to... Okay, why? Items match regardless of their attributes. Items only match if their durability and other attributes are the same. Okay, I have gold sheets on there. Does it, will it only go if there's one? No. Why? Why? I literally, I have gold sheets. Does it need to be like that? Hey, because that's that's intake. Why?
because it needs to be exactly one, isn't it? No. Uh, oh, wait, it's because it's trying to extract off there. Hey, that's powering that funnel, though, isn't it? Hmm. Where did that... Oh, there it is. Um... Oh, right, that's... What we probably want to do then is... Oh, no. Okay, this has not gone quite according to plan. Uh, um, hmm. Doesn't, yeah. Why am I putting them back in? I should not be putting them back in. <laughs> uh, yeah, what we really want to do is move this. So then we can power. Oh no, that's that. Oh. Right. Okay, let's keep that. Let's keep that powered. And make sure that's powered in the correct place. And now this should be working. Problem, I think we we just about <laughs> worked that out. Um, right, let's now place a bunch of glass, shall we? Oh, we should also have a load of uh, brass. Not what I wanted to do. Well, some. Oh, was that? 
that junk or is that... What was that sound? Oh, that was those running out of cogwheels. Uh, I, I guess we make more cogwheels. Uh, we have not got the wood for that. Okay. Um... I mean, there's a few trees over there we could chop down, but... Let's just run home and grab a load more logs. Yeah, I guess it is, it is like five small and large cogwheels per precision mechanism. We'll grab a couple stacks of logs and should be enough. Emphasis on should. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, I think andesite alloy is probably going to end up being the uh, um, limiting factor here because we've not got loads of it and we've not got loads of iron. We've got plenty of andesite. But uh, yeah, the Iron is the big thing, hence why the iron farm is probably the thing we're going to want to get up and running the soonest. Unusual hitch there. And what did I come here for? Logs. Okay. We don't need any food right this second. There's nothing. No, no. Make sure these are all empty. Yep. Okay. Any gravel in here that I can wash? Oh, there's a little bit. Maybe get some iron from this. Nope is the answer to that. I mean, it's fair enough, it's only like 12% chance of getting an iron nugget from washing gravel. over time. Two hours, 43 minutes we've been live. The last, like, I don't know, hour and a half has gone by really quickly.
But yeah, once we can keep the uh, precision mechanisms going, then uh, get going on the glass. Be interested to see how much the uh, lava pit is filled up now as well. Uh, oh, right, yeah, we need to make the, the cogwheels. <laughs> uh, so we need those. Oh, a heck of a lot more of that. You know what? I have really got much of a choice here. I think. Uh, yeah. Stack of small cogwheels and a stack of large cogwheels. It's getting a little bit cramped around here. And we're probably going to want some more iron nuggets actually as well. We haven't had any junk through yet. There's no way we're going to be able to make this many precision mechanisms, but I'll chuck the uh, gold in there at the bottom. There's one. There's another one. It's so fun to watch, but uh, ooh, we are uh, we are getting there. We are getting there. Of course, there's still like another ten layers to do on top of once this one's done. But, uh, making progress. Making progress. Now let's get, actually I wanted to check something real quick. Because this, uh, framed glass. Can I ponder it? I cannot. I wonder, does it? Hey, okay, it does. Ah, okay, so it does go like that. And yeah, you do need silk touch for it. So yeah, let's use the framed glass. Um kinda curious to see how this goes as well. Okay, yeah, that one is just like Ooh, but that one can be non silk touched. Tiled glass. Now I think I'm going to use the uh, the framed glass. This has a much like you know cleaner look to it. Plus, it'll be easier to see the lava level filling up.
Uh, wait, that's fine. How's this coming along? Uh, that's already run out of cogwheels. Right. Also, we picked up some andesite alloy. Um, so we can make five of each, it's going to be 15. And, uh, yeah, okay, that, that did not last long, did it? Oh, you can't, uh, probably gonna need some nuggets as well, uh, yeah. Uh, iron... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Yeah, we're not going to get loads going for that. But, uh... Yeah, that's so already gone again. We've got a decent number of precision mechanisms, though. Um... A little bit in there. But it, yeah, it is the andesite alloy. That's the uh, big bottleneck here. For this day. Actually, I am not even going to bother, like, unsprinting. Or unsneaking, rather. Because. There's literally. There you go. Lava being pumped in as we do this. And if we fall into the middle of that. I am genuine. I genuinely think that might be the uh, the world over. I should have brought my silk touch pick. Really, that would have been a smart thing to do. Yeah, I am. I am not touching my sneak button at all. Um, just for the application, I use toggle sneak, so I just have to hit shift, and I am now going to sneak until the next time I hit shift, that's why I'm not going to hit shift at all. I re there's times like this when I really miss Swift Sneak. <laughs> it is it is really rather slow without it. The problem is now is it's been enough time since I like did the calculations and mined all this out. And I'm now like just second guessing myself like, did I actually do the right calculation? Is this actually going to be an infinite lava source? <laughs> or have I like messed up somewhere and it's like a layer too small or a... Which would be the worst case scenario because 
it would mean it's not completely filled. I mean, I guess I could probably dig some extra blocks at the bottom, but that would probably involve me either making the netherite diving suit stuff, or um, fire resistance potions. Bruni, hi, welcome in, welcome in. Thank you for the follow earlier. I can't remember if I mentioned it or not, but uh, yeah, thank you anyway, welcome in. Okay, I feel like we're sort of at the safe point now with this. We're at the point where I think I could probably just about get to the edge and douse myself before... Or I burn to a crisp. All right, I'm doing very well, actually. A nice, nice chill Saturday afternoon, playing a bit of Minecraft. And uh, yeah, how are you doing? This is why I need my silk touch pick on me. <laughs> I try to place it too quickly, and yeah. of glass left. Dang it. Right, let's get some more glass smelted up. I'm probably actually not going to have enough glass now because I keep breaking it. Uh, what did I do with my sand? Oh, wait, we're going to use red sand as well, weren't we? Yeah, yeah. Uh... Okay. Uh, oh wait, it's 25. Oh, we've got eight furnaces now. Well, I hope this is enough glass because it's all I've got to be able to smelt at the minute. Yeah, that one's empty. But yeah, look at this. This is much safer. A much safer way of monitoring the uh, lava progression. Uh, right, I need to make some more site alloy. I just made polished andesite, not andesite alloy, dang it.
Uh, right, let's turn those into shafts. Figure out exactly how many we need. 52. Okay, that's the small cog wheels. I accidentally made 56, dang it. Uh, More cogwheels. Large cogwheels. And is that going to go? It is not. Not quite just yet. Do we have any more like junk in there? We do not. Okay, we've been going about three hours. I think I'll probably take a bit of a break. I've just finished off my uh, water as well, so I'll uh, refill that, I think. And uh, yeah, we'll just keep cracking on with this when we get back.
Alrighty, let's uh, let's crack on, shall we? Alright, yeah, there's nothing in that one. Framed glass. All oh, right. So how much do we need? Like, uh, whatever ninety minus three is eighty-seven more glass. We definitely uh, do not have that. Uh, so we, what is that? Thirty-nine. Well, there goes our uh, thingies. Uh, yeah, we basically can't make any more. Oh, apparently I've I've gotten a shaft. Very interesting. Uh, probably shouldn't need too many more precision mechanisms though. Um, 27 is probably good. Dang it. How many did I put in each? I put 13 in each. We can put another... Let me put an extra smelt. 16, so it's another 3 in each, I think. Okay, well, it's all the red sand. Oh, at least give us some spare glass. knows I'm probably going to need it. Oh my goodness me. Okay, one of my new lights is having a little bit of a fit, which isn't great. Oh, damn it. <laughs> yeah, I knew I'd need the spare glass. My defense there, I was a bit distracted by my light. Which just suddenly decided it was going to start strobing. Yeah, we're going to have to send that one back, which is a bit frustrating, but uh. Not a catastrophe. My other light's working just fine though, so. No problem there. 
Ah, wait, need to need to change it. Is that a bat? <laughs> oh wait, there's probably a cave underneath here somewhere. Look at that. Okay, now we will never fall into lava. <laughs> that is that is good. Uh, we're actually almost yeah we're almost halfway exactly on filling this layer up, which is very nice indeed. <laughs> Um, yeah, let's uh, throw the last of that in there. Make us plenty more brass. Why do I need all this brass? Who knows? Um, I can make brass doors. I can make brass scaffolding. Wait, hold on. That actually looks kind of cool. Uh, stone, stone cutter. And ladders. And bars. Look at these. Oh, wait, I think I've got an obtrusive, an obtrusive scaffolding in my, uh, data pack, so... Wait, what? Yeah, my, my resource pack, I think, might be... Um, creating issues with the rendering. But this... Wait. Is this supposed to do this? Can't tell. Can we like reconvert this in the stone cutter? No. Well, it's it's very cool. And you can use it like that, I guess. Oh wait, and then it. Oh wait, that's actually kind of cool. Oh, this is like great for like walkways and stuff. Look at this. That's actually really cool. Can you like wrench it and make it see through or something? No. But it is like wrenchable to go straight back in your inventory. Like, what else can you do with brass? There were some other cool things as well there. Yeah, like the bars and ladders. Can ladders just be like... Okay, no, they are they are like normal ladders. These, these are cool. And then they like, yeah, they like hook over on the top. Ooh. Very nice. And then the bars. I like these. And I guess, yep, that works as well. And you can do them around corners. Hmm. Neat. I wonder if you can do stuff like that with, like, probably copper you can. Maybe iron, maybe zinc, maybe gold? I, I don't know. Why do we try these things? Block of industrial iron? We'll make, we'll make, 
I guess okay, two of those. Oh my word. Those are cool. Those are good for like girders and stuff. Oh, and you can combine those with the like the zinc cladding type stuff. So alloy you can same stuff as the stuff there. I imagine that's probably the same. Yeah, proper scaffold. Copper bars. These actually look quite interesting. Oh look at those. It's almost got like a slight almost Japanese feel to them. You got, you got what I mean? Like the uh, pagoda type stuff and the sort of like screen door things almost. Um, gold. Ah, I can't do gold, unfortunately, but... Huh. Lots of cool stuff. Can you, like... That? Nope. Is this, like, useful for anything? Nope. Um... <laughs> It is just decorative block, or you can yeah use it with the like the zinc adding stuff. I can't remember what it's actually called. But yeah. Are we exactly halfway now? We are, aren't we? We are oh wait, no, one more. One more is exactly halfway. And that's just one layer. <laughs> Maybe, it, maybe it's worth uh, trying to get more iron, make more cauldrons. <laughs> maybe, okay, it's probably worth trying to get more iron anyway to make more andesite alloy. Because we are going to need a few of these for the mechanical arms. I don't know exactly how many mechanical arms we're going to want. Um... Actually, maybe we won't need loads. I got, actually know rotation of speed controllers are going to be a big thing that we're going to want to make. Um, I guess like maybe even just four mechanical arms will probably do. Um, yeah, rotational speed controllers are going to be a big one because it means we then won't need to do all of this. Uh, not really there, but yeah, all of this crazy gearing stuff to speed stuff up and slow it down. Um, yeah, maybe maybe for now we want to work on getting an another row of cauldrons in, perhaps. Okay, we are now exactly... Oh wait, no, we're just over halfway because someone's filled in there. I don't know how much... We've not got... Where's our point of dripstone? We've got the copper pipes to do it. It's fine. Yeah, uh, we've got 24 points of dripstone. Okay, so we don't need that much, and I think there are some dripstone caves around here. But uh, yeah, we do need the iron. So I'll take the mining machine. I also want to take, um, oh, it's this way, my silk touch pickaxe because you actually get more iron from crushing silk touch iron ore. I think. I know, but I know fortune mining iron ore. No, we'll just leave it because fortune mining iron ore might be better than silk touch. Because I think... Uh... Yeah, crushing it, you're only guaranteed one. Whereas I think with fortune, you can get up to three or four.
Yeah, we're gonna need like. About three and a half stacks, four stacks of iron for this. Oh, okay, we need just under three and a half stacks of iron just for the cauldrons. And then obviously we're running low on iron as it is. Um, which I guess, you know, we'll pick up cobblestone as well. Which we can grind into gravel, which we can just wash a load of that. And that'll get us some iron nuggets, I guess. Yeah, also for that like, andesite alloy to make shafts to continue making the precision mechanisms is going to be a huge thing. Uh, uh, we're going mining, aren't we? I don't know why I'm going in there. I don't have anything to put away, do I? Uh, no, we've got it. That's fine. Okay. Mm -hmm. I kind of wish you could uh, crush cobble deeps later as well, though, into uh, gravel. How are we doing on the dried kelp front? We're doing quite well on the dried kelp front. Now, uh, right. Oh, hello. There's iron ore in the floor there. How did I miss that? Hey, and there's some here as well. Need three from that. Four from that. Wow. Okay, you can actually get up to four. Double check I didn't miss any iron all around here. I don't think I did. Doesn't look like it. But yeah, I believe 15 is the level we want to be at for iron ore. Any down here that we miss? Maybe. Uh, yep, yeah, this Y level. <laughs> That's why there is probably the most taken out here. Yeah, there's some iron ore in the ceiling over there. Yeah, we ended up in this area, didn't we? Didn't miss any iron down here, did I? Was in like in this area. I think we might be good. Oh, wait, there's a little bit just up there. Okay, so I guess we just sort of pick up a place to... Uh... Start mining. It's going to be a little bit awkward. Maybe we go this direction. From, I don't know, here ish. Okay, 
of course, it's going to be uh, <laughs> dropping all the cobble deep set as well that we picked up. Picking up iron all day. And we're also exposing quite a bit of iron ore. Um, I might just... Uh, oh wait, no, I can't do that whilst it's in uh, this mode, can I? Oh, it'll be fine, we've got quite a lot of cobbled deep slate. Probably do it some good to just empty a load of it out anyway. Gold or? Don't mind if I do. Ceiling, how are we doing? We've got 40 there. Wow, okay, yeah. No, we're uh, we're gonna be racking up the iron pretty quickly. Ah, Azurine. There's no more iron in there. It's already one stack. Imagine this is probably, uh, yeah. This is just flat out underwater. Um, okay. Look for the light. There we go. Very nice. Okay, cool. Well, we got. Okay, we've not. We've nearly got two stacks of iron just in our own inventory. Fine for us. Hello, glow squid. Probably should make like a better way of getting out of there, but at the same time, it's not exactly taking me a long. <laughs> I'm not exactly having difficulty getting out. 
I don't know. Alright, let's go to sleep and we will be on day one. Sorry, not 100. 250. That is nice. And there's a sort of little mini milestone day. Love to see it. Uh, right, let's go and empty all of the iron out. Uh, so there's a stack there. And there's almost another stack there. So, yeah, cool. Three stacks and 45. Let's go ahead and crush that along with the gold. Apparently I've accidentally uh done that. A pretty decent amount just from uh, of uh, redstone just from washing the iron ore here, which is always good to see. everything crushed isn't it yep Uh, I might actually take out all this redstone as well. Make those into redstone blocks. Is that everything? That is indeed everything. Let's go ahead and make a load more cauldrons. And we probably want to chuck it. Uh, what was it? 30 times 7, that's 210, divided by 64. Uh, 0 0.28125 times 64. Oh, it's three stacks and 18. This should be 30. Wait, do I already have some cauldrons somewhere? I could have sworn that I did.
Yes, I've already got four. So we actually only need 26 times 7, which is 182 divided by 64, 2.84375, which is two stacks and 54. Okay. Look at that. 30 cauldrons, lovely. Uh, right, put the redstone away as well. Gold away. Grab some more logs. I'm gonna grab a load to store over there because we'll need a decent amount. Uh, right, let's double check we've not got any pointed dripstone here. I don't think we do know. Uh, so we'll go grab some more over there. Um, else site we've got over there. I think we're good to go. Uh, we'll take the rest of this iron as well, so we can make more andesite alloy. Yeah, one of my lights is just basically completely stopped working. Cool. My game has suddenly started doing uh, the odd hitch thing again. Yeah, like that. Um, and last time it did that, uh, the game crashed. So we'll get through here. I'll take a quick break and try relaunching Minecraft again. Because, yeah. It's doing that, and I cannot work out for the life of me why. Um,
All right. That should work. I've deleted replay mode because that seemed oh that seemed to be the issue last time with replay mode doing weird things. Um, I've got reused replay mode, so yeah. Also, welcome in Guffy. And if you've got a study, then what are you doing here? Ah, uh, welcome in there, welcome in. How are you doing? I have I have made my giant lava pit nice and safe with some glass. Um, and yeah, we're going to be expanding our lava farm. To do that, I'm gonna need to get rid of that. Um, I'll sight. Let's grab the remaining dripstone that I need. And the buckets, of course. And we'll sleep. Definitely seven uh, inventory slots I have spare. Any more? Doesn't look like it. Uh, right, let's find a, a cave with some dripstone in. Um, I think there's one. I think this is one down here. Now. Or... Any more for any more around here? I need six pieces, I'm pretty sure, and I've got four. There's probably another cave somewhere around here that's got at least two pieces of dripstone in. 
the pointed dripstone. Nope, not there. And not around here by the looks of things either, actually, which kind of sucks. Um, hmm. Oh, we can go put these four bits in at least. Oops. Uh, hmm. Maybe the other side of the spider spawner? You can have a look. No, it was... No, it was up that way. Wait, no, it wasn't. Wait. Man, how did I get to the spider spawner again? Um, wait, how did I get to the spider spawner? Was it much more? Oh, yes, it was this way. There is dripstone down here. Perfect. All right, we got what we came for. Let's skedaddle. Up into there. Let's also throw the random stuff in our inventory out.
We are like, oh, whoops, I wasn't crouching. <laughs> We're not actually that far away from being, like, filling this up yet. Where are we? One, two, three, four, five, six. Six away. We could go. I saw the subtitle. Yeah. Huh. Good timing on that. One more. One more lava bucket. It is all we need. Come on, where's it going to be? Oh, there it is. That's the wrong button. And we can immediately get that going again. Lovely. Ow. Right, buckets back. The calcite somewhere. Sure. And the dripstone. And now I'm with the rest of the stuff there. Right, we need to make a load of andesite alloy and a load of shafts. That is zinc. That is andesite alloy. Seven. Honestly, let's just make all of this into andesite alloy. We can. Reest oh dang it. That okay, so that behaves okay, so if it's vanilla stuff then it seems to behave. Interesting. Huh. So if it's a vanilla block, then you can't stone cut it back. But if it's not, then you can. Interesting. Okay, we probably don't need quite that many shafts. And uh, that'll be good for now. Uh, all right. Make a stack of those. Make a stack of those. The small cogwheels there. The large cogwheels, not there, damn it. We put them in the hand, thank you. Now we'll keep that going. Let's just chuck all of that in there for now. I put the super glue in there as well. I don't know why I put that in my inventory. Cobblestone. Okay, that is out of iron nuggets now. Oh. In goes those. Right, let's go to sleep. Mm -hmm. 
probably just get rid of these two. Oh, hey, more iron nuggets. Alright, I guess you got it. Uh, thank you. Any uh, junk yet? Oh, we have. We have a gold nugget. Oh, it's so satisfying to watch. You know what? Every, every time I come out this way now, I'm going to be... I'm just going to be, like... Uh, on autopilot, just cautious as I come here. Even though there's absolutely nowhere I could fall down, I'm just going to be like, don't fall, don't fall through the definitely very solid floor. So yeah. We're just slowly getting there, and I think from the looks of things, we are pumping everything from the back cauldrons. We do like to see it. The right. So the blaze burners are fine sheets and stuff. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're gonna need more iron for those. Then the fluid tanks, copper sheets and barrels. We can do that. Mm -hmm. A little bit of pondering. Pipe networks can push and pull fluids from any side. Maybe you can measure comparators with that. Tanks can be combined to increase the total capacity. Base can be up to three blocks wide. And grow in height by more than 30 of it. Wow, okay. Using a wrench, the tank's window can be toggled. Mm hmm. Okay, that's all of that. Uh, so. So, steam engine, that is not how you ponder. It can just be placed on a fluid tank. Working the engine with a shaft creates kinetic output. With sufficient heat, water, and boiler space, they will generate rotational force. Mm -hmm. Yep. Minimal setup requires four fluid tanks. You can fuel them like that. Grab our blaze burners. Yep, high power levels require more water. The boiler's current power level can be inspected with engineer's goggles. Each added power level, an additional engine can output at full capacity. So four does four engines. Level 8 is the max. Is level 8 the max? Yeah, level 8 is the max because it's a uh, fully powered blaze burners. So. How's this getting on? Still going? Very nice. Any more junk? No more junk. Oh, something is run out. Cog wheels have run out. Uh, okay, shafts. Uh, wood. Uh, 
stack of small cog wheels. What should I do with my logs? Uh, 34. Okay. And, oh wait, we need another, like, stack to make the large cog wheels, don't we? Okay, and of course we're going to need uh, more nuggets in a second as well. So, small cogwheel. Large cogwheel. How many have we got now? 36, nice. Uh, right, let's grab some copper ingots. And get those on the mechanical press. Hey, King. Uh, welcome in, welcome in. Didn't, didn't, didn't fancy uh, coming in at the start at 7 in the morning. I actually went to bed at a good time last night. Like midnight-ish. As opposed to like three in the morning. Yeah, we've been doing well. Look, the lava's been filling in. We added another layer to the lava farm. Oh, you're here at like eight. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah. So this should be pumping out a decent amount of lava now. <laughs> Immediately fell back to sleep. Uh. Nope, I know that feeling all too well. It's like, I wake up at the time that I would normally wake up, then my body suddenly realises I've only had like three hours sleep and it's just like, nope. Oh, we're out of nuggets. We need more nuggets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, do I have like... This one I had some more like random nuggets somewhere around here. Hey, your phone was charged. Yeah, that's uh, very fortunate there. Lava drips into cauldron. There should be one adding on here somewhere. I think it went somewhere in the middle there. It's such a good sound, this. Body clock wakes you up like... 7, 8, and then if you don't have to go to work, you'll go back to sleep for like 4 hours. That's, that's fair. It's, uh, yeah. A reasonable, uh, thing to do, I'd say. Uh, right, I need a stack of barrels. Which is going to be two stacks of these. Okay, and more plank. There's like what six stacks of planks is it for a stack of barrels? That's a fair amount of planks. Uh... Oh. Wait, do I not have? One, two, three, four. Oh, that's only five. <laughs> I can count. I can definitely count. Uh, right, a stack of barrels. Cool. The wood away. Is that the last? I oh, know there's still five more gold sheets. There's another gold nugget there. Yep, 
that's slowly working away. We're going to need another stack of copper sheets as well. Seven. I don't think we have enough capacity to double this speed either. We can try it. Uh, I need uh, cog wheels, cog wheels. Uh, let's just steal these. And... Uh, oops. Um, I need a, I need a block. Um, I need a block. Hang on. <laughs> Wait, no. Where's my calcite? I've been using calcite for like my structural blocks and stuff. And the <laughs> might as well just keep using it. Uh. Okay, doubling the speed has worked. That's good. We can make a good chunk of fluid tanks. Let's at least start to plan out the footprint of the fuel generators. Um, so they're going to be in like these corner chunks. And so the steam generators have a max power level of 8. So we're going to want to go for like a 3 by 8 thing. This is the center. Problem with 3 by 3 though, it doesn't quite... Uh, I guess we could do... On this corner here. Oh wait, yeah, I forgot it does this, doesn't it? You can um, place on the center, and it does a whole other row. I'm gonna need more. Um, more tanks to test this stuff out. Uh, bed. That's what I came here for. The max power level of eight, which is the max, the max kinetic output you can have, is eight. Um, uh, right. Let's grow. Let's make more tanks first of all. And we're gonna have like four, four sets of tanks per corner. Which is there's gonna be so much rotational power here, it's gonna be amazing. Uh right, crafting table, fluid tanks. Uh, so. so we'd have like a tank, maybe that tall? Oh, I don't have enough uh, things. Hmm. And obviously we'd have blaze burners underneath. Uh, being fueled with blaze cakes. And we'd have like four of these in each corner, basically. Uh... 
Uh, and obviously they'd be elevated slightly because we need to put the blaze burners and like the conveyor belts underneath. So. Mm. We're going to need a lot of these uh, fluid tanks. <laughs> a lot of them. Uh... Yeah, we'd, we'd want to take the input of the blaze cakes, use tunnels to split it equally into four. Then use mechanical arms to power the blaze burners with blaze cakes. So we're going to need like what, 9, 18, 20, 36 blaze burners per corner. Uh, if we go three by three by four, that's going to be... 36 times 4, that's 144 tanks per corner, so that's going to be 2 stacks and 16 per corner. And a whole lot of, yeah, a whole lot of blaze cakes overall. Filling up nicely now that we've got uh, 3 rows going too. Oh, hello there. I'm just gutted I can't like wrench these. Yeah, you can sort of do it. Because then they go they just go straight then. Uh right, anywho, let's go grab the rest of the copper from over here, which is probably done. <laughs> I think it was literally just done as I was walking over. This isn't a shapeless craft, is it? No. Okay, we have our fluid tanks. Put those in here for now. Um, what the, do we want to start planning out the like factory stuff? Maybe. We could even, it might actually be worth splitting the blaze cake manufacturing into four rows, filling the blaze cake bases four rows at a time and then shipping them off rather than making the blaze cakes themselves and then splitting them. So we'd have like four lava spouts. Yeah. That might be a job for next week uh, to start planning out uh, how we want to manage the fueling system. Because uh, that will we're going four hours fifteen already today. Uh, those have run out again. I think that's fine for now though. Forty-seven precision mechanisms should be more than enough. There's more lava. There you go, build in there. So, yeah, let's try and go get some soul speed, I think. Uh, then we'll be ready to sort of run around the nether when we do need to go get blazes. Uh, we'll also try and grab some warp blocks that we can grind into nether warp and then start growing some of that. Yeah, we're also going to need to think of like actually how we're going to be distributing power around the whole factory. Uh, 
Hmm. That'll be a fun and interesting one, particularly particularly because we've gone chunk based, so everything's all on even numbers. So it's not as if we can run a shaft down the middle of something. Because the middle of something is two blocks. Which I guess we could run double shaft with alternating rotations. But I guess if we're going to be doing fluid stuff as well, we can run a shaft down it. Like down one side of the middle, if that makes sense. And then fluid pipes down another side of the middle. But you can also filter fluids now as well, which is pretty cool. Which would definitely help with it. Um, right, we need gold. That is not where I keep my gold. Let's take half a stack of blocks. That should be enough. Uh, let's also pop our gold helmet on. Uh, yeah, right, there is a crimson forest nearby. That's probably going to be the best place to find piglins. Obviously, we want to be careful we don't run into hoglins. Oh, hello, friend. What direction do we need to go in? I think it's this way. Wait, no, no, it's not that way. Is it that way? Um... I mean, there is Crimson Forest this way. And a Bastion. Um, I can't actually remember which way the fortress is. Um... Oh yes, it's down there. I'm going to put some torches down. <laughs> it's to the west or maybe south. It's, it's in a direction. And here is the Fortress of Death. Because the second you get close to it, it just fills up with mobs. Look at all the wither skeletons over there. Oh, sorry. We still sourced. Look at all the mobs on there. Now. Oh, as well, how many blaze burners are we going to want? We're going to want 9 times 4 and then multiply that by 4 again. 144. So, yeah, 2 stacks of 6. 2 stacks of 16 blaze burners. Which is 2 stacks and 16. Uh, netherrack. And wait, that's the way I want to go, which is 
a nine stacks of iron, I think. That's that's a lot of iron. Hello, friend. Uh, I'm not going to trade with you because. Okay. Ah ha, get wrecked. <laughs> Just as long as I don't accidentally hit one of them, we should be fine. Alright, here you go. Neon! Hello! Welcome in. Welcome in. I am apparently trying to get some soul speed. Because I'm sick and tired of slowly crawling around the Soul Sand Valley. Yeah, I'm doing good. I'm doing good. We've gotten... We've actually gotten quite a bit done today. Um, which is very nice. I, uh, I covered the big pit of lava. Because I did fall in it today, which was, um, slightly terrifying. Um, we got a couple little construction mechanism things set up. Uh, what else have we done? Oh, I put the, I put an extra board around the floor as well to match everything up. And, uh, yeah. Ooh. Oh, that didn't take long. That did not take long at all. But uh, I did pick the gold back up. Um, I just thought, when I needed loads of quartz, why did I not come bartering? It was like... <laughs> anyway, uh, don't need that. I'll keep the crying obsidian. Don't need the leather. Don't need those. Don't need those. I do need the iron nuggets. I definitely don't need the soul sand. I'll keep the string. Uh, don't need fire charges. Definitely need quartz. Cool. That that took a and soul speed three on the first enchanted book as well. That's pretty good, right? I'm gonna need a decent chunk of this. Because I can't work out if there's a way to make renewable netherrack in this. I don't think there is. Also, I'm probably about to give you a heart attack, but... <laughs> this is definitely 100% safe. Yeah, this, this, this is why I need soul speed. Then we have the Fortress of Death. <laughs> this is just everything spawns in it. <laughs> Yeah, what are we up to now? We're day 253. We made it past day 250, which is very nice. Uh, granted, I've not really been doing anything that might kill me. But I, I guess that's the whole... Uh, it's like the key to surviving in hardcore. Just don't do anything that might kill you unless you absolutely have to. For example, I'm going to need to go and make a few stacks of blaze burners at some point in the near future. 
Um, I'm not going to be using either of those fortresses, I don't think, because they're both a little bit too near the Soul Sun Valley, in my opinion. So we might go exploring a little bit further. Because partly I want Soul Speed, is just so if I do have to traverse more Soul Sun Valleys, then, uh, then I can. But anywho. Uh, right, let's take our little boots off. Uh, and soul speed. Uh, nope. That. Me. Well, we. I guess. Oh, we've still got loads of gold and <laughs> and loads of diamonds as well. Hey, Jakaria. Hello, hello. How are you doing? Uh, gravel, a little bit of, uh, we'll pop that away for now. Ooh, we can save an inventory spot as well, like that. Put our goggles back on. Doing well, just got home and now eating lunch. Nice, nice. Uh... Right, what are we doing? Probably... Um, we're gonna, gonna want to do some more iron mining actually, I think. Because we're gonna need a good number of iron sheets to make all the blaze burners. Um, so let's pop all of this back in here. Spicy Thai coconut soup. That sounds good. I've not had, like, Thai food in a while. I think it might have been my brother's wedding was the last time I had some, which was way back in April. Um, so he knows a guy that uh, owns a, like, Thai restaurant thing uh, where he lives. And so the day before the wedding, uh, which is the day I actually arrived because I had to get the train down. And I basically got a taxi from the train station straight to where they were eating. And uh, yeah, really, really nice Thai food there. Yeah, I've not had any in a while. Yeah, I think I, pro I probably end up... I think I probably eat a lot of Italian food like when I go out. Or order food and stuff. Um, but yeah, that's probably like my most commonly eaten cuisine. Uh, I think even at home and stuff, I do. I like. I like making a lot of pasta dishes and, as well. Yeah, I have to try try some. Uh, Try some slightly different cuisines. <laughs> it gets me every time though, the double goggle look. Gotta love it. Let's pop through here. As we can see, the lava is slowly filling up now. 
is good. We added another layer onto the back here as well. We now have, I believe, 90 cauldrons uh, slowly filling up the lava pit. Uh, yeah. Uh, let's chuck a load more copper on as well to be pressed. Don't need to tie a lot. Uh, your favourite, the kids at home won't eat it. Ah. Yeah, I think... When me and my siblings were younger, I think we were all generally pretty adventurous in our uh, cooking. A bunch of picky eaters, yeah. Uh, actually, I say that my my older brother, when he was younger, was... Uh, he'd eat about three things, and that was it. <laughs> I think it was either pizza, sausages, or spaghetti. Um... Or, no, pizza, pizza, sausages, or chicken nuggets, I think. It's basically just three bits of brown food that my brother would eat. <laughs> he used to be uh, the pickiest of eaters at all. Apparently, I wasn't like I wasn't actually born yet to witness it. But uh, we, we always joke about it. Uh, but he's ended up turning out as probably the best like chef out of all of us. Um, uh, my brother's a very good cook. <laughs> And, yeah. Right. I'm going to need to get... Yeah, we're going to have to go iron mining, I think. Because I want to get the... I want to get at least the blaze burners in position for the fuel thing. Oh, uh, no. Hmm. No, we want to start getting, like... Maybe the blaze cake base factory designed. So, we're going to need... What do we need for blaze? That's the wrong button. What do we need for blaze cake bases? Cinder flower. <laughs> You're not that picky, but like certain Chinese Thai foods are a no. Yeah, yeah, okay. There. Alright, we need eggs, sugar, and cinder flower. Cinder flower is ground netherrack. And, yeah, netherrack can't be made renewably. Hmm. Why can't netherrack be made renewable? That's, that's... I feel like that's something the create mod could have quite easily done. Uh, anyway. Alright, let's get eggs sorted. Because I don't have many of those, and the faster we can get that up and running, the more eggs we can get quickly. I think I do have a few eggs that I've picked up along the way, so hopefully we can at least get one chicken. Start laying eggs for us. Um... As far as I'm aware, there's not a way you can make eggs. Yeah, <laughs> unfortunately not. But, uh, yeah. What about eggs? Are you a big fan of eggs? I was collecting eggs uh, a few streams ago on here and uh, chatting with pizza. He hates eggs, apparently. I don't get how anybody can hate eggs, though. Eggs are so good. You can fry them, you can scramble them. I was about to say you can poach them, although I must admit I'm not a huge fan of a poached egg. Um, I like scrambled eggs as well. One of my favourite things of all time is uh, scrambled eggs with some really hot sauce. I used to grow my own chilies, um, so I grew things like habaneros and ghost chilies and Carolina reapers. And then I made them 
uh, one year into like a really hot chili sauce. And a little bit of that on scrambled egg is so good. You'll eat eggs if it's mixed into something, but I won't eat normal eggs. Okay, that, that's fair. That's fair. So like cake, for example. <laughs> That's, that's like eggs mixed into something, right? With some flour, sugar, and butter, and then baked. Uh... Where did I get three cakes from? Hang on a second, why do I... Did I just make some cakes randomly? Why do I have three cakes? Genuinely not entirely sure why I've got so many cakes, but cool. Um, anyway, I have blaze cake bases. So we will need sugar, so we'll need a sugar cane farm as well. And yeah, and then the cinder flower. The sugar cake the sugar cake farm? The sugar cane farm is going to be the one that takes up the most space. Um, and they're going to be compacted in the basin. And then, yeah, the basin is going to be spat out. We could even... No, we'll split the blaze cake bases rather than like just have four blaze cake base manufacturing things. Uh, we're gonna need a hopper. Should have enough iron back at the thing to make a hopper. But yeah, more like fried rice and stuff where it's mixed in, but yeah. You know, I I just really like eggs to be fair. Um like yeah, but they have to be like, yeah, I mean, I guess, yeah, I'm not a big fan of an egg on its own. I would always, like, make eggs with something, but, like, I'm talking, like, uh, fried egg with sausage and bacon, uh, or scrambled egg on toast. Um, like, I won't ever really make a boiled egg. I do like boiled eggs, don't get me wrong. Uh, yeah, I mean, to be fair, I, I have a large appetite, and so filling a large appetite with just eggs is it. <laughs> it's not, not the most tasty of things. But yeah. Can't wait to get a light drop. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I say that every time I make this journey, but I I, I really can't because this is just. I wasn't aware quite just how far away I'd started building this thing until I put the uh, portals on the roof, and I'm like, oh, we are actually quite a few hundred blocks out here. Uh, right, we need a hopper. One, two, three, four. 
Bye. Oh, I meant to grab more logs whilst I was back home. Oh. Right, hopper. Okay, let's let's just get an egg farm going. Hopefully. 16 eggs should spawn a chicken, right? Uh so it'll be like Uh so for this corner here, this is probably where we'll start because all the gubbins is over there. This is gonna be where uh, the blaze cake base sort of manufacturing is going to be. The way we're going to have this is each corner there's going to be four steam generators. Uh, so for this corner, and then we're going to make the blaze cake bases here and probably a little bit into here. Fill them with lava here, and then fuel them. Obviously, fuel the steam generators here. Um. Let me think of where we're going to want to, like, grind up. Uh, grind up the cinder flour. Get the eggs and do the sugar cane. So we'll probably want sugar cane growing here. Grinding wheels. Maybe on this edge. Or like in this corner and then the eggs somewhere as well maybe at the back here they all feed into a compactor which goes here they then get split up into four rows where they'll get filled with lava and then sent to the generators uh, i didn't bring any building blocks with me right, let's let's just like uh do Could probably actually just stick the chickens on top of a chute or something and then whenever they lay the eggs they'll just fall straight into the basin. <laughs> uh... Actually, do we have any we have some spare glass somewhere, don't we? Yeah. Wait, that's not enough spare glass though. We we'll use spare glass and something else. Sure. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, we need a uh, transparent block there anyway, so we can open the chest. Okay, come on. We just need one chicken. Nice. Can we get more? Nice. The more we can get, the better. Four. Okay, four chickens. Obviously, we have to wait for them to grow up. But, it's a good start. It's a very good start. Uh, obviously, we'll have like 24 chickens laying eggs. Because uh, entity cramming and... Um... We'll see. I guess we could. I kind of don't want to do too much creative work for this. But at the same time, with the create mod, I kind of feel like... It's probably a good idea. Just so I can at least get a feel for how some of the things work. I'm not sure. Because like, I have spent a bit of time in creative, not not specifically for this world. But uh Yeah, this is filling up nicely as well. The extra row was definitely worth it. But uh yeah, I mean I 
I, I do think that actually spending some... I, I want to say design time, but not like exactly design time. Obviously, I'm not going to... Like, I don't want to build the entire thing up in creative just to copy it across. I want to just use creative to get an idea on how I want to lay things out. And how like each of the individual components will work together. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, anyway, we need more iron. Uh, a lot more iron. So. We are going to go mine some iron, I guess. I'll probably take the uh, mining machine back there as well. So uh, we can at least keep the lava cauldrons and the chickens loaded whilst we mine the iron. And honestly, since the grinding and the eggs aren't going to take up that much room at all, we could actually... Um... Do the layout so the first chunk is just a sugarcane farm. That might be a bit that might be a bit too much sugar. Um Hmm. Uh, that's not the right portal. I mean, we'll see. We'll probably end up adjusting the sizes of some of the uh, bits anyway. Oh, hello there. Uh, what did I come here for again? Oh, mining rig. That's it. Ooh, and more wood. I'm going the complete wrong direction, aren't I? Just get a load of logs, it's probably going to be the best thing. Uh, sleep. Um, something else I wanted to bring. I feel like there was something else I wanted to bring. Because the big thing with the um, netherrack is we're going to need it to make gunpowder as well. Because, yeah, cinder flower and instant damage potions. Um, also, eventually, redstone dust. So you need strength potion, which is going to be a bit awkward because you need blaze powder for that. Because ideally, what I want to have this world is to be able to just have a mob switch on all the time. Which won't be possible in the nether for like if you want a wither skeleton farm to get wither skulls. That won't be possible. 
But for the overworld, there isn't really anything... There aren't really any overworld resources that we need hostile mobs for. Uh, oh wait, no, I guess spider eyes. Slash fermented spider eyes is one of them. Um, but again, actually no, because that's a spawner, which is independent of the mob cap. Um, so like, what else? What else would there be that we need? Has gun? Yeah, gunpowder we can make from cinder flower and instant damage potions. Um, ender pearls aren't a massive issue. Bone meal, you can just compost stuff. Um, string. Again, spider spawner. Our arrows don't need because we've got affinity. Zombies are useless. I don't think. Like in vanilla Minecraft, pretty much the only reason you people ever make like wholesome mob farms and stuff is to get gunpowder from creepers. But since. We can make gunpowder without the need for hostile mobs, then there isn't really a need for it. We can just get a mob switch going. I mean, yeah, we'll be, we'll be golden. Uh, whoa, I've just realized how much copper there is here. What in the world? <laughs> I've been down here quite a few times. How have I only just noticed just how much copper ore is here? Wow, okay. I guess we'll just... Make our way down to Y15. Well, the difficulty of building a mob switch is I'm not really AFKing. Oh, wait, hang on. We're just going to ignore that part here. Uh, so, yeah, getting the net, getting 70 villagers is not. It's going to be time consuming, let's say. Not far enough back by a block. Okay, big cave. Um, let's make sure we're fully armoured up. There's water. And of course there's a load more water.
The reason I still need the raw iron, because I need iron, basically. Uh... And I can't really get an iron farm set up until I get the fuel source set up. Uh, because I need uh, basically two sets of grinding wheels uh, so I can walk. Well, Technically, I could just go down the hole, yet yeah, grind cobblestone into gravel, uh, wash the gravel into iron nuggets. But, because I can't just, like, I, mean, I could, like, set it up. But because I'm, like, going back and forth all over the place at the minute, it's never really going to run long enough to get uh, a decent supply of iron backed up. Um... Are we out of, uh... Okay, we are actually out of... Ooh, that was close. We're actually out of cobble deep site now. Also, that is a big cave. What's wrong with the, <laughs> the generic villager farm? I don't... I'm using the create mod. So I want to, like, use the create mod. And yes, I guess, okay, I could build a quick villager-based... Iron farm, uh, just for the start. But uh, I want to use as few vanilla farms and mechanics as possible, basically. Um. So I guess we'll, we'll take this back and like. And manually do the uh, iron because with the with the create iron farm you have to you grind cobblestone into gravel wash the gravel into iron nuggets um but it's even then it's only i think like 12 percent chance yeah 12 12 percent chance of getting uh an iron, one iron nugget from a piece of gravel. Uh, so you don't need to be working. And then obviously I'd want to compact the iron into iron ingots and then into iron uh, blocks, probably. Uh, right, let's put the wood away. Uh, now let's let's do a quick lava check. Oh, this is gonna look so good once it's like all filled up. I've actually, almost covered the whole like middle layer there. Yeah, we're then going to have the... Maybe it's probably worth just getting an iron farm set up with its own power source. If I made a couple water wheels. Because we can also make rotational speed controllers now because we've got the precision mechanisms to do it. Which means it's probably not actually that complicated to set it up efficiently. Um... Yeah, we'll go... Yeah. Yeah, alright. We'll go ahead and make a uh, little... Little iron farm... In the corner. First though, I want to... Uh, do things on here. Get the iron out of the iron machine. We've got a load of cobblestone actually anyway, so we might as well spend a bit of time grinding and washing all that up. I 
I have loads of flint as well that I just don't know what to do with because literally you can do nothing with flint in the create mod. <laughs> okay, you can make flint and steel, fletching tables and arrows. That's it. <laughs> this is, oh, and diorite as well if you use calcite, but why would you want to make diorite or granite for that matter? We're giving me enough iron until I proper set up. Yeah. Wait, are you talking about uh, just a, a mini crate iron farm or just a villager iron farm? Actually, I guess if we got a mini create iron farm set up at the uh, the monolith there, we can then like kill some time and get some iron together just by building the spider farm up as well. As I phase into a barrel, apparently. Yeah, I guess all of this cobblestone that we've got here is probably going to give us a decent amount of iron. We grind it all up and wash it. Gold. Okay, cool. And we'll just like. Also take all the copper out of here as well and just make that into copper blocks because we'll probably need it at some point but we do have a significant amount of copper already oh we picked up some pointed dripstone that's actually kind of useful the diorite's useful as well because we can grind that into quartz oh my goodness we have a, <laughs> we have a lot of raw raw copper there's even more there. Yeah, as you can see, we've all, we've got quite a lot of copper. <laughs> XP as well. Iron wash, we can transport all of this as well. and gunpowder and XP
Okay. Uh, let's get more cobble to crush. Go ahead and wash this gravel. I guess we don't have to build a full-sized uh, gravel farm either. Well, not gravel farm, iron farm. Because yeah, to get a decent supply of iron, yeah, we need a lot of gravel. I imagine there's probably maybe even four chunks in a corner at that monolith will probably be just dedicated to iron. I mean, that was what, nine, nearly ten stacks of gravel, I think. And. A stack and. What is that? Nine ingots. So you get about an ingot from every stack of gravel. Yeah, which is not too bad, not too bad. I also have to deal with the flint, which kind of sucks. <laughs> Just eject that into lava. Honestly, maybe not so in vanilla Minecraft, but I think in create mod, you could quite easily get rid of flint and that you wouldn't be any any the wiser. <laughs> Or maybe not. Is there any way to light a portal other than a flint of steel? Uh, like excluding fire charge. And like the lava wood thing. Is there any way a player can light a portal like that? Also, is there anything you can do with dirt, I wonder? Uh, you can haunt it into soul soil. Mix it into mud. Wait, you can get path blocks by pressing dirt? You can get grass blocks like that. That's amazing, actually. That's actually quite cool. I love that. Um... Two, two stacks of 16 times 4, 2 plus 8, yeah, so we need 9 stacks of iron. I think the problem with uh, the Create Modern Flint is you get flint from literally everything. Crushing gravel, washing gravel, and it's like... 
how much I've got. I've gotten so much flint down here as well, just from making sand. in here. Okay, where that keep going? No, I don't still have the windmill stuff up, do I? What should we got that? We're going to need to make more crushing wheels, which has to be automated crafting. Which is going to be a bit annoying, but not be too bad. Uh, what's the recipe for them again? Crushing wheels. Yeah, base stones, planks, and some alloy. Last we obviously just have time. And I should I have another chest in here. Um, yeah. Let's make another chest quickly. Mm. And go ahead and chuck this on the bottom here. Oh, that's already a double chest. Hey, well, I've just made a chest for no reason. Uh, is there anyone along here that doesn't have a double chest? <laughs> uh, no. Cool, well, I have a spare chest now. Um, right, let's go ahead. And... Grab those. And a power source. Uh, you reckon we can do it off here? Uh, no, we definitely can't do it off there. Okay, we might need our own power source for this. It's fine, we'll just go ahead and make another walker wheel. Are we 
We're gonna need a decent amount of most like alloy anyway. Where's my underside? Oh, I guess it's all in the mining machine, probably. Right, let's just transport all the underside out of here as well, then. You've probably, yep, got quite a bit of that. It was a fix of a decent amount of gravel. We can just go ahead and straight up wash. Um, the site. Okay, we'll chuck the uh, alloy in there for the time being. And then go ahead and just take all the gravel out of here. Go check this in the washer. There we can check all this in as well. Let's go get a water wheel and hopefully there's enough rest units there to, to do our uh, shapeless crafting. Well, not shapeless crafting, mechanical crafting. Uh, we need a couple or some shafts and then. Sixteen planks. Water wheel, large water wheel. And I guess we can make it like here. some cog wheels. Right, also let's just refill our bucket. Wheels. Do I have any in here? I do not.
And we're gonna want another one of those. Just wait, hang on. Can you like craft them like? No, you can't put them like that. That's kind of a shame. Should be able to put it on the side there then, yeah. Uh, right, no. I've done this wrong, I've done it, it's too flat. Um... to be like one, two, that's not what I meant to do. And yep, it's over stress, so we're going to need another water wheel. It's going to need more wood. Exactly a stack, nice. Way. Yeah, the mechanical crafters, like, they use a lot of stress units. A lot of stress units. Kind of annoying. Uh, particularly for these crushing wheels when you need 21 of them. you to make up a small cogwheel because why not And we can put that there. Uh, right, let's... Figure out how we want to put this together. Uh, 
probably work. Kind of hard to tell. Uh, right, let's make some more crushing wheels. Then. So we're gonna need four of those. Probably that much andesite alloy and a base stone. I think tough should work. So, oops. There's it. Why are you not letting me put it there? I am not... Oh, is it because I'm, like, not at the right angle or something? Why? Why are you not letting me fit it there? I can put everything else there, but I can't put that there. Oh, that just broke everything, apparently. Right, no. Now, now you work. Of course you do. Uh, very bizarre. Oh, okay, right, so... Okay. Oops. Where did it just... Did it just eat my... It just ate my stuff. Unless... Unless it wants me to, like... Bruh. No, it was just inside it there. Right. Um, let's uh, do that first. And then that, I think. Let's try this now. You don't understand what's going on because you just left the lunch and came back. We're trying to make some crushing wheels. And these things are really awkward because you have to get them in like the right orientation, otherwise they just won't work. And so nice. Pair of crushing wheels. Uh, we should probably make a few more pairs, just, you know, just because. Let's go ahead, make a load more andesite alloy. Cool. Uh, we might as well just use up all of our tough, which is going to be... One, two, three of those. We're probably going to need more andesite alloy for that as well. I can't remember exactly how much it is. That'll probably do, right?
are we on now? 259. We've done a lot today. Where did we start on? 233. some more. Lovely stuff. Oh, whoops. Alright, uh, right, whilst that's going, we should be able to pick up uh, nothing from there. Should almost finish working. Do so we've got eight now. Actually, if we can make one more or one more pair, I should say, will probably work best. Can you use a site for the middle? If you can. About to find out. I would imagine you can, because andesite is a base stone. Uh, wait, there we go. Okay, now we have 10. Perfect. Uh, we can go to sleep and we'll be on day 260. Um, might get more cobblestone to grind. I thought we picked up some Azurine. Uh, right, let's work on what else we'll need for our little iron farm as well. We're going to need some drills. Uh, which is going to be more andesite alloy. So we need one, two, three, four, five. Uh, mechanical drills, we've got the casings, we've got the alloy, we need the iron, which 
they, they're just all used to make andesite. Oh wait, no, we've got we've got plenty here. What in the world is that? There's some weird loud thumping music outside, and I don't know where it's coming from. You need to remember to download the connected textures. There's there's. Uh, I'm not a big, I'm not a huge fan of connected textures. I must admit, like in some situations, it's alright. What I like with the create mod is you can like they basically add their own connected texture block separately, so you can either have a connected texture type thing on, like such with the layered uh, blocks like this, it connects like that, uh, or you can just use normal blocks. Um, nice to have like options uh, right what else i'm gonna need fans as well uh, encased fan which is andesite casings and propellers which is going to be iron sheets uh some casings which, how many fans are we going to want probably like six And I don't have a mechanical press here, do I? Nope. I guess we can do that all over at the other place. Made a foggy glass floor in the basement and it looks bad with individual blocks. Oh, right. Yeah, no, that's fair. That is fair. Right, get that washed. So much flint. I guess over at the monolith. Uh, uh, we can at least uh, any rubbish we can just like filter off the main production line and just send it to the lava pit. That is uh, that is something that can be done. Uh, right, so we've got the drills, we're going to be making the fans, we've got... I think we've got enough conveyor belts over there, but I might just make a few more. Take over. Uh, we've got plenty of alloy. Uh, we've got the press that we can use on things as well. We will need a lava bucket, but we can just sort of... I guess we can pause the lava farm. Grab one of those. We've got water. We've got an infinite water source. Uh, we'll probably want to make a few water wheels as well to run all of that. I don't know, maybe three or four. We'll do four just to be on the safe side. So we've got to run all of these crushing wheels, the drills and the fans off one power source. So, one, two, three, four. Uh, one, two, three, four. Wait. Yeah, there we go. Cool. You keep pushing off downloading it because you think you have to now. Yeah. You yeah, know, that is, that is, yeah. Probably worth doing. Right, how are we getting on over here? Uh, yeah, we're also going to need the press in the basin as well to make. Iron stuff. I have not seen the basement yet. I've not really been at spawn a lot recently. Um, I mean, okay, I guess I've been to my shop a few times, but that's about it, really. Um, uh, yeah, I'll uh, I'll have a look on tonight uh, if I'm on. Oh, 
Crystal Stone. I would also want Brass Funnel, I think. Uh, I just completely forgot Gravel. I probably want to take some Brass Funnels over here. Uh, all the farm. Uh, and yeah, we're going to need a few cog wheels. We have the rotation speed controller. We've got loads of brass over there, I think. Uh, oh yeah, we've got loads of brass. That's good. Bunch more alloy. No so stack and a half, very nice. for this to finish through then we'll get the rest of this gravel in the washer should get us a decent amount of uh Ingots there. Now we shall see. I think we have everything we need. We'll see. We need to make. We we'll need to make the fan blades to make the encased fans. Those are sharp, so that's just fine. Uh, we'll need cog wheels. We've got plenty of wood to do that, and then so alloy to make fans. Uh, uh, those can be made with yeah, brass catings for the speed controllers. I think we're good. I think we're good. Uh, right, we should have plenty of wheat to make some more food as well. Lovely. And uh, yeah, then we can head back over and make a load more stuff. Oh right, uh, brass funnels. Just grab all of those, because why not? Gravel down here? I don't think so, is there? We are all in the clear. I wish this mod added like blocks of flint, like a building block. Is that really all? Wait. Oh. Did not take long to get rid of all of that. Um. I think that's everything then, isn't it? Let's we'll see, we've got the crushing wheels. We've got the drills, we've got stuff to make the fans. 
We've got water wheels, we've got alloy, we've got funnels, we've got belts. We'll make a few more belts. Never have too many belts. And right, yeah, I guess let's uh, make our way over there. And I think it might be time for another break. Oh, hello. Hey, friend. Once we get over here as well, we'll take another break. Uh, it's been a little while since we uh, took the last break. I don't know, like two and a half hours, something like that. And then, uh, yeah, I need to refill my bottle, have a bit of a stretch. have a quick little break. It's filling up, it's filling up. And uh, yeah, I will be back in a couple minutes.
All right, we are back. I also fixed the issue with my uh, light. Turns out the uh, power cable had fallen out the back of my monitor. <laughs> so no wonder it was sort of getting dimmer and dimmer and then just stopped working altogether. <laughs> um, uh, yes. And we've had a bit of a music change as well. We listened to the same album on repeat for the last like six hours. <laughs> I think it was time to pop a new album on. And uh, yeah, this is this is this is looking good. And yeah, right. Let's uh, pick a corner. Probably that one because it's got the highest walls. Um, we'll get some spare terracotta to block up the caves. And uh, yeah. Yeah, working on it. Also, I need a lava bucket. Um, oh yes, and I needed... 24? Uh, iron sheets. I should really... I keep saying this every stream, but I should really make toolboxes. And I just haven't. <laughs> Uh, right, I believe I put those there, yeah. And, uh, yeah, we're gonna, uh, block these walls up. These will eventually get replaced by, like, more decorative walls, but for the sake of just making sure that there's like a smooth wall here. I'm just gonna fill it with some terracotta I've got left over. Uh, and then we're gonna get a water source or water, a, a power source that I think that one will yeah okay and then I just need three more and this will give us 2048 stress units of power So let's get some buckets. Whatever I've done with those. Ah, there they are. Uh, I had I had lava drip. I had lava drip. Ah, oh, damn it! It was too late. I'm gonna see if I can do this uh, without having to turn the whole thing off. I'm just gonna stand there. Got it. Easy mode. Okay, right, let's make a rotational speed, let's make a few rotational speed controllers actually. I don't know, like, four is probably good. Now let's also chuck everything in here. Uh, our iron should be finished as well. We can go ahead and pick that up. And make the fans. We 
We've almost covered the bottom pit like <laughs> This is filling up like I feel like it's fill, filling up like the difference between the two and three layers is the di is more than a difference between one and two. I don't think my words came out very clearly there, did they? But I think you get what I mean. Uh it's like alloy. Uh oh right, uh, we made the propellers, then we need to make it. Plans. And we're going to need a fair few cogwheels, aren't we? So, six of those, some of those, uh, wood. Uh, then we're going to need brass to make brass casing. Oh. And then I have precision mechanisms. Rotational speed controllers. Okay. Uh, so, I'm going to need more shafts than this. Uh, it's also getting night time anyway, so we'll go ahead and sleep over here whilst we're over in this direction. I just got a feeling it's raining. Uh... Yoki, uh, belts. Well, all right, we kind of want to do this like backwards. So, sort out brushing. So, no, the output chest, then sort out washing, then sort out crushing, and then just stick the Cobblestone generating so on top of that. Uh, so well, then before I want to do that, get the rotational speed controller. Yum. Oh, okay, 32 is probably a good distance. We'll ignore the slight clipping there. I don't plan on having clipping in the uh, like final factory floor, but again, this is just temporary. Uh, so... Maybe it is a good idea to do this forwards. We have it going that way. Uh, then... Okay, actually no, we're going to want the crushing wheels a lot higher than this. 
is we've got to go through the crushing wheels. Yeah. And onto, I guess it's, it's only got to go through the crushing wheels onto one conveyor belt, which will then wash. Oh, wait, hang on. Uh, so let's say, okay, so we have the crushing wheels there. And then cogwheel, cogwheel, and then we should have to have that. Okay. So these are, what, 256 each? We are going to need a whole lot more uh, water wheels for this. A whole lot more water wheels. Like, I'm probably going to need double that, maybe. It's fine, though. Uh, okay, yeah, we've got loads of resources at our disposal. Oh, it's because it's flowing sideways. It. That's that's not the right place. There we go. Then we can get rid of these and start putting more water in. Okay, now, now we have a good amount of uh, rotational power. This is like, what, 4096 I think we have? Uh, so... Oops. That followed by... Oh wait, hang on a second. That with that and that. Going 
32 that way. And... You can have that. And then... That. And then... One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. This is going to spit stuff out on a conveyor belt here. Which... Can we go down? We can. And then, if we make a gearbox... I don't have any answer to that. Oh, hang on a second. I'm hoping we can use a gearbox there and it'll just go in the right direction. Uh, I also want to fill these up. He says as he walks right past the infinite water source. Oh yeah, I'm definitely uh, stopping this as well whilst I make the cobblestone generator. Uh, right, gearbox. Yes, it does go in the right direction. Perfect. Then I can just pull that there. I mean, cased fan. Ooh, cased fans. So they're gonna need to like there-ish. They need to get rotation. I get. Oh wait, hang on. Much easier way of doing this. Let's have them there. Uh, make a bunch of trapdoors. Uh, water. So we just sort of make an infinite water source, might as well. And... I think one should be a... Oh, not there. One should be enough, then... Oh, actually, hang on, we might even not need one. And again, we might actually need one. Uh, then we'll need what, seven, I think. Wait, hold on a second. Wait, oh, that's no, that's that's really stupid. Um, please tell me that one's blowing. It is okay. Oh wait, no, that's a bad thing. Uh, 
I'm pretty sure if we then go like that. Come on, really? So we're going to need a uh, small, small. And then I think. Nice. Then we need an attribute filter. And maybe a brass tunnel, I think. Um, oh, wait, no, hang on. Uh, let me think, let me think. Brass tunnel over it. Fil yes, because we can filter flint out one side. And just have that go into, I don't know, lava or something. And then the nuggets going out the other side, which will go to the storage. Uh, so... Because I have a feeling we need, yeah, we need an electron tube. There's going to be an iron sheet, which isn't a problem. Wait, don't I have, like, a piece of polished rose quartz in here somewhere? Yes, I did. <laughs> Somewhat fortunate, because I don't have any quartz here. Thank you. We can make an electron tube, then we need two brass ingots and two pieces of dried kelp. Two brass ingots. Uh, two pieces of dried kelp. And that actually makes two of them. I should only need one. I actually think you want to make this longer. Say to about here-ish. Oh, is that too long? No? How long can these things be? Oh! I'm putting it on the wrong, uh... Wrong level. Uh... There we go. I mean, just need... Tunnel here, I guess, just a little. Okay, okay. Then we need an attribute. Okay, yeah, we need an attribute filter. Therefore, cannot be watched. And then we just filter this side as flint, and that's only flint and iron that gets produced, right? Yeah. Uh, oh, I was going to, like, press them, wasn't I? Oh, I don't need to press them. We can just run them into a double chest in it. Be fine, maybe? I'll probably want another gearbox as well. I guess we'll just run the flint off here and it'll uh, just despawn. I'm sure it'll be fine. It'll be fine. It won't cause any lag at all, right? Mm. 
Um... Okay, we've got cogwheels. I make one of those. Then we need. How do we make those? It is yeah, it's wool and brass nuggets. Wool and brass nuggets. Quick trip to the uh, spider. Spider den. Wait, no, not that way. Hi, friends. Ow. Perfect. One piece of wool. Then we can go ahead and make one of those. Do we have any iron nuggets in my inventory? We do now. Uh, it was added by Minecraft. Uh, oh wait, no, we need to... It's if it can be washed, then we uh, add it to the opposite list. Well, do we have anything here that can be washed? Uh, dirt can be washed, right? Can be haunted. Uh, nope. What do we have that can be washed? <laughs> um. Eating can be composted. Nope. I've got spider eyes, I don't want. Um, let's just like toss this into the uh, grinder. Glad that made it. <laughs> oh shoot. Um I completely forgot about that. <laughs> uh we're gonna need fence gates there, aren't we? Uh okay, can be washed. Add opposite. Okay, cool. Then we add that. In there. Can I wrench these? Cannot. Okay, let's uh make some fence gates. And I think that should have this. I think that should work. Let's just toss the uh, gravel in again to make sure. I think I missed, didn't I? And I have no clue where that ended up. Alright, anyway. That's the wrong way. I think that should mean though that I can just do it there. And yeah, that's the right way.
And we shall have a chest there. And a funnel enabling things to come in there. Uh, now, no, I can't do it off, damn it. Now we're going to turn that off so we don't accidentally kill ourselves. Uh, that's, that's not, I don't really want to do that. <laughs> Seems like a bad idea. Look at this! Good progress, good progress. Um, anyway, uh, wood. Uh, we're gonna want some of that. I do have fire tick off, I think. Uh, I guess we're about to find out. Uh, we have our drills. We have, I think, enough cogwheels. We've got some shafts if we don't. Uh, okay, I think. Because, because of all the lamps now, it's kind of hard to tell when it's actually night time because the floor is so light. Combined as well with, of course, with the uh, infinite lava, well, not infinite yet, lava source. Probably should have added an on-off on switch here. I think we can pop a clutch in just there. Okay, so... This is where the cobblestone is going to form. So we're going to want water sources or a water source there. In fact, actually, if we make some stairs. We can waterlog that. And I'm pretty sure, yeah. Mm-hmm. Nice. Cover that. It shouldn't burn because we should have fire tick off. Uh, and then... Uh, all we need is to run a belt from there up to... I think there. Oh, no, one more. Like that. There we go. And I think we. What do we want there? Uh, wait, no, not there. We want it 
it to run. So there, then we need a vertical gearbox. Uh, I don't know. One time I actually had andesite alloy in my uh, inventory to make an andesite casing. I don't actually have the logs to make the casing. Uh, right, let's do that. We can pop two buckets away there, refill that with water. Uh, oh wait, we need to make the uh, gearbox. Uh, so we will need three of those. Gearbox, vertical gearbox. We we'll actually need, I believe, two of those as well. Actually, I guess we could use mechanical belts again, but we're using cogwheels now. Uh, and so we had the vertical gearbox, like so. Um, oh, wait, hang on, we haven't got the, uh, Wheels connected up. Ah. Ah. That's not even with those either. Um. Let's maybe try to turn this down a little bit. Oh, so that's not it, is it? Uh, oh, I remember how we had it now. Uh, it's... That to and it. Is that to there and that to there? Okay, we've got gravel, it's being washed, and I, I forgot to set nuggets and... Whoops. Nuggets. It should mean, oh yeah, all the flint ends up here anyway, so we don't actually need to filter that off. Um, yeah, and that's our overflow, I guess. Cool. How fast can we make this? Okay. 
Anyone? Nice. Apparently there's a load of gravel there. Um, oh right, it's all just falling off. I see. <laughs> okay, so it's actually going. It's actually going too fast. Okay. Uh, okay, right. Let's uh, turn it back down to twenty. Hopefully it'll stop falling off. I'm sure it'll be fine. That's not going to cause it to lag at all. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. <laughs> Uh, right, let's put this stuff away, and then I think we'll probably end the stream there, because we go in... I think it's seven hours. I don't think I've actually streamed this long before. It's gone by very, very quickly. Um... <laughs> Terracotta. Let's see if we can uh, run down our hunger a bit. I really would like to, uh... Oh wait, hang on, we've got two bit. Oh wait, no. Yeah, I can... Ah, perfect, perfect! And of course the hand is stuck. Uh, right. Sleep! Actually, it would be kind of funny to see if any mobs spawn down there. Mm. Mind you. I think... Yeah, there's probably too much light. Look at this! This first level is almost done! Oh yeah, do we have any eggs in here? <gasps> we do! Oh, right, that one had multiple... It was a multiple yoker. How exciting. Anyway, that's going to start producing a lot more eggs as well, which is going to be very good. The more eggs, the better. But yeah, I think we will end stream there. We got a lot of work done today. And we got a lot of lava filled in today as well, which is very, very nice. Um, I forgot to put a clutch over there for an off switch. Um... Uh, that's on me. Uh, let's also go ahead and have a little peek. Just to see uh, if... Okay, the gravel is actually still falling off. Um... I'm sure it's fine. It seems mostly fine. Um, but yeah, we will end stream there, find someone to raid. Uh, but yeah, I will stop the recording just about here. Uh, I did see someone live early, who I've not seen live in a little bit. So if they're still live, I shall uh, go ahead and raid them. Anyway, thank you for watching. And... Uh,